A Vetus retractable thruster spends most of his life hidden underneath the water level. So in this video we will show you what normal operation will look like and what the error and protective codes are. In case an anchor road or a bit of driftwood is caught in a thruster, it will throw an error code to protect the system from damage. Occasionally an adjustment might be needed to the open and close position and we will show you how to do that as well. A retractable thruster is often used in shallow hull shapes. In a shallow hull, a normal tunnel would be too close to the surface where the thruster might suck in air and you lose a lot of thrust power as a result of that. A retractable thruster does its work nice and deep, submerged in water, giving you that full maneuvering power. It's also a popular choice on sailboats because a retractable thruster gives you that smooth, efficient hull shape. When you are ready to start maneuvering, make sure that your boat speed is below 3 to 4 km an hour, say walking speed. If you go faster than this, it's a large surface, the thruster might create too much drag for normal operation. To get the thruster into the down position, push the on off button twice and the slow blinking LED shows you that the thruster is moving either up or down. Once the thruster is completely down, the blue LED becomes solid and now you can use the left and right buttons to push your bow to starboard or port. When you are done maneuvering, push the on off button once. The slow blinking indicates the thruster is going up and as soon as the light shell goes off, the thruster is back to the fully in position and you can pick up boat speed and enjoy a day out on the water. Because the thruster is working underneath the water level, out of sight, it needs to be very well protected against foreign objects. Think of a piece of driftwood, an anchor rod or maybe a bit of rope that was caught in the thruster. In this case we are bringing the thruster to the down position, but it, on the inside it's blocked with a piece of wood. Usually that wood will be on the outside, but the principle is the same. As soon as the thruster feels that unexpected force, it will reverse direction, the red LED switches on, and it will go back to the in position. If the thruster was going up and it was blocked by an object, the thruster will then go down trying to clear the object. The red LED switches on, but it will switch off as soon as the thruster is back in its up position. To reset an error, switch off the mains power, switch it back on and activate the thruster by tapping the on off button twice. The thruster will now cycle fully down and fully back up to check if all is functioning as it should be. That's not an error, it is a system check where the thruster goes down and back up. To deploy the thruster for maneuvering, simply push the on off button twice again and the thruster will be ready to operate. In rare cases, one of the two 5 amp fuses might be blown. There is one fuse close to the black cover on the yellow DC engine and there's one fuse powering the VCAN network. A similar protection mode might be activated in the fully down position. When the engine moves fully down, the piston should find an end switch and if it doesn't, it will throw a protection code. In order to correct this error, simply remove the shear pin, apply a 12 volt power supply to the actuator motor, move the piston fully in and now you can rotate the end of the piston to make the adjustment. Pull the engine up completely and check if it's easy to insert the shear pin. If it isn't, which it wasn't in this case, you can rotate the head of the actuator so it moves out a little bit and then reinsert the pin again. Put the connector back in, cycle power on and off. Make sure that the system does its self-test by going down and back up. And then your system is fully functioning again. If the system has thrown an error or protective code, be aware that if you switch off the power and back on, if you activate the thruster, it will always give you a blue and red LED. The blue-red indicates that it's going through the self-test motion where it needs to find its calibration point so the system will go down and back up to make sure that everything is fully functional. If you still get an error code after that, check the adjustments that we've just made. 
I hope that this video was of use to you and I wish you many hours of carefree boating and maneuvering.